Hello. Today is a cold and dreary day and that reminds me of a wonderful soup that I used to have growing up on Long Island. We have wonderful delis and everybody goes there and they get known for the wonderful things that they make. So this particular deli used to make a chicken and noodle soup that was out of this world and it was heavily peppered. So it had a ton of pepper in it. And when you drank it, it would just clear your sinuses. It was so wonderful. It was the best soup for whenever you were sick or feeling under the weather. So today I'm gonna to put together a version of that, but instead of using pepper, I'm going to use my doTERRA um, essential pink peppercorn. So let's get started. The first ingredient I'm going to add is about a tablespoon of really good olive oil. To that, I'm going to I'm going to put in a, about one small um, diced onion. Now I'm going to add a cup of sliced. See, I put them in little little moon shapes of celery because I like to have a little bit of celery, and then some carrot rounds. So I've peeled my carrot and sliced it into rounds, and I'm gonna add all of those at one time. I'm just gonna to toss them around. Now I had had a chicken from the oven the other day, so I went ahead and took the chicken off the bone, and I cut it up into small pieces. Since this is already cooked, I'm going to start with the carrots, onions, and celery and let them soften up a bit, just for a minute, until they're nice and they still have a crunch to them, but they are uh, softer than raw. So I'd say al dente. Anyway, so let this go for a minute, and then to that, after I took the chicken off the bone and diced it up into these nice little squares, I took the bones and I made a homemade bone broth. I'm going to use this as the base of my soup because I, I want my husband to have some more healthy food. I find that it's really hearty, it's excellent for your system, and it's a way of incorporating that great collagen. Collagen is so good for the skin, it's good for the bones and the body, and um, so I'm going to put that into my soup because I want that extra little bit of health added to my soup. Now our carrots and onions and celery are cooking along. They're not quite done. So at the end, I'm going to add a drop of pink peppercorn uh, essential oil because I think it's going to really put a kicker on this and just bring it over the top so we'll have that nice collagen. We'll have the pepper and all the nutritional value from the pepper mixed in with the organic roasted chicken and all these beautiful vegetables. So my vegetables are just about done. Just one more minute. And if you want to take a look in there, see them? Nice and beautiful. They're just getting tender. And now I'm going to add my bone broth right onto those. Let that all incorporate. There are a lot of choices of things that you can add to this. You can add uh, lemon if you want to have a little bit of lemon. You can add some oregano. You can add uh, anything, thyme anything that really makes you happy in your chicken soup. So after this comes to a boil, I'm gonna let those flavors kind of marinate together, and then I'm gonna add in my chicken. So we're almost up to a boil. And again, you can put anything that you like in here. Some people like to add a bay leaf as well. You don't have to use bone broth, you don't have to uh, um, go through the process of making bone broth, but you can, you can add a regular organic chicken stock that you can just buy at the store, or you can, it, but it is better to add something that has 
chicken stock or vegetable stock or some kind of flavor to it because it really adds to the entire soup. So we are now just about coming up to a boil. You see the steam, the steam coming up. And now I'm gonna add my chicken. And I just put together some of the light meat, some of the dark meat. I cut it into rough chunks because I like, I don't like to have perfectly shaped um, chunks in my food. I like it to be more interesting than that. And now it has all of that roasted chicken flavor. And if you don't have time to roast your own chicken, you can feel free to go out and buy a rotisserie chicken and you get the same flavor, the same added flavor right there in that. Okay, there we go. So now I'll have, let's have a look at this. Look, oh, <laughs> it has some nice color, some nice liquid. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my pepper. But I don't wanna add too much at once. So what I'm gonna do, because pepper is very strong and I wanna make sure I like it, is I'm gonna put one drop on a spoon. That was fast. Mmm, it smells good. I have a lot of soup in here and there's not a lot of flavor and I didn't put any salt in yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one drop. So now I'm gonna take that spoon and I'm gonna stir up my soup. And now, I'll get a clean spoon, give that a taste. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. I actually think I'm going to put another drop in. I really like it peppery, but this, of course, is completely up to you. So there we go, we have our second drop. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Where did I put my salt in? Just a little bit of salt. And give that a taste. Mmm, wonderful. Enjoy.